few summers ago, I was able to help a former student of mine move to Minneapolis, Minnesota to start law school. Uh, she had been in Spokane for almost six years, and this was a huge move for her to move to the Midwest. It's what we call it, the Midwest anyway, being from the Pacific Northwest. And she and a buddy packed up a U-Haul full of some boxes and an old couch, and they took the long drive through Montana, through the Dakotas, and ended up in Minnesota. I hopped a flight and joined her there just the day after they had arrived. And I walked into this pretty sparse apartment that was full of boxes. And I looked at the two of them and said, all right, ladies, it's time. We gotta make this mess into a home. They weren't exactly sure how to go about this, but as we slowly started to unpack things and, and put things on the wall, you could see where Molly, my student, was able to recognize that this was her place. And as we ventured out into the city a few times to take a trip to Target or to uh, go to Ikea to get another shelf that we needed, I began pointing out those things that might look familiar to her as markers. Right there around the corner, there's your Starbucks. You're gonna know where to go if you need your morning coffee. And look, right around the street, down this hill, there was a trail and a park and a place where you could could run and it was so much nicer than anything you would ever have seen in Spokane. So I tried to show her places where familiar was real but it also was bigger and different and new for her to think about to become hopeful. And I think what John is doing in Revelation 22 when he's talking about this new heaven and this new earth He's trying to point us to these places that are familiar, so we will recognize it when we come upon it. He said there in this new heaven will be this huge tree. It's a glorious huge tree. It's in the middle of the city and there's this river running through it and 12 different fruits are gonna come from this tree. It's a tree like we've never seen before, but we're gonna be able to recognize it because we know trees. We know what they bring us, but it's bigger and it's fuller. And it's there where we see that tree, that we will know that we are home. And that's what God is promising us, to look for him, the familiar, in the everyday, knowing that the new kingdom and the new earth are on its way.